Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the virtual opening ceremony of Philippine Flora, an online botanical art exhibition of the Philippine Botanical Art Society in partnership with the Department of your host for this afternoon's program. I am an artist and member of the Philippine Botanical Art Society and Philippine Fauna Art Society. We have a fantastic program ahead of us. Under Secretary Abelia will be providing the welcoming remarks following, followed by a keynote speech from Ms. Bing Famoso. Ms. Isai Rodriguez will present the exhibition. And finally, Mr. John Ray Calyado will be providing the closing remarks. To start us off, we are pleased to present a pre-recorded message from Mr. Ernesto Abelia, Undersecretary for Strategic Communications and Research of the Department of Foreign Affairs. Undersecretary Abelia was also a presidential spokesperson of President Rodrigo R. Duterte. He is an educator, social entrepreneur, pastor, and advertising creative director. He has a master's in social development from the Asian Institute of Management, a master's in divinity, major in biblical studies from Silliman University, and graduate studies in English and communication arts from Ateneo de Manila University. Everyone, please welcome Undersecretary Abelia. Greetings. Today we celebrate Flores de Mayo, the fifth in the DFA series of Fiesta Filipinas, an online celebration of Philippine festivals. Over 300 live participants and thousands more view the event via our online platforms, testament to the community spirit of the Filipino, undeterred by distance and space. To cap the event, we feature the Philippine Botanical Art Society and their premier annual art exhibition, Philippine Flora, an online botanical art exhibition, which coincides with our Flores de Mayo, or Flowers of May, a Marian devotion and relic of Spanish Catholic colonial tradition. The Art Society was founded by Ms. Bing Famoso, a gifted artist who graciously added to the DFA's art collection her rendering of the Philippine Eagle, as represented in the current Philippine passport, which she donated Aguila ng Pilipinas III in October of 2020. The current art exhibit aspires to raise awareness of endangered endemic Philippine flora. The DFA shares the society's concern, hence this effort to share the burden with our kababayans abroad. Patriotism is not just defending our economic and national security, but also protecting our national patrimony, including Philippine flora and fauna, not just for their potential economic value, but for their inherent and priceless worth that defines the Filipino. So congratulations to Ms. Bing Famoso and to Mr. John Ray Collado, the co-founder of the Philippine Botanical Art Society, for protecting and enriching the wealth of the Filipino spirit. Thank you and mabuhay. Thank you, Undersecretary Abelia, for the compelling speech and generous congratulations. And now, a keynote speech from Ms. Bing Famoso, founder of the Philippine Botanical Art Society and Philippine Fauna Art Society. Ms. Bing Famoso is a graduate of BA Philippine Arts from the University of the Philippines, Manila. She is an advocate of Philippine endemic flora and fauna, and her art mostly predicts, uh, depicts the rich biodiversity of our country. She started her advocacy in 2016 through her Tayabak, Jade Fine, and Suiyasoy Benguet Lily paintings. Her four one-woman art exhibitions featured only artworks of Philippine endemic and indigenous flora and fauna. Advocacy for the conservation of flora and fauna through art inspired Ms. Famoso to establish the Philippine Botanical Art Society and the Philippine Fauna Art Society in September 2019. 
In collaboration with botanists from the National Museum of Natural History, she believes that these two organizations will help promote raising awareness for the Philippines' endemic and native wildlife. In further pursuit of raising awareness for Philippine biodiversity, she started donating her Philippine Eagle paintings to Philippine embassies and consulates in 2019. The first recipient was the Philippine Consulate General in Los Angeles, the second, the Philippine Embassy in Singapore, the third and most recent was donated to the Department of Foreign Affairs main office. Ms. Famosa ultimately hopes her art can inspire the Filipino people to protect and conserve their country's rich biodiversity and its critically endangered uh, species. Let us all welcome Ms. Bing Famoso. Thank you very much, Willa, for that generous introduction. To Undersecretary Ernesto Abelia, thank you very much for your inspiring remarks and for supporting the advocacy of the Philippine Botanical Art Society. To their ex excellencies, the ambassadors of Philippine embassies, to our Philippine consulates across the globe, to Executive Director Ivy Banson Abalos, Acting Director Christina Corpus Pobov, to the staff employees of the Department of Foreign Affairs, to my co-founders, Dr. Edwin Tadiosa, Dandy Tandang, and John Ray Caliado, to the members and volunteers of the Philippine Botanical Art Society, to all the environmental organizations present at this afternoon's event, sa ating mga kababayan sa ibang bansa, at sa ating mga kababayan na kasama natin ngayon dito sa Zoom, at sa mga nanonood sa Facebook Live. Isang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ay si Bing Famoso, an advocate of Philippine endemic flora and fauna and founder of the two art societies, the Philippine Botanical Art Society and the Philippine Fauna Art Society. I would like to thank the Department of Foreign Affairs, the Office of Public and Cultural Affairs, and the Office of Strategic Communications and Research for this opportunity to showcase the beauty and importance of our native flora in an online art exhibition and for giving us a platform where our kababayan here and abroad will be able to access beautiful renditions of Philippine flora through art. I would like to share with you my art journey and how I started my advocacy of Philippine endemic flora and fauna. It started in 2016 when I read from a Facebook post about the cherry blossom tree planting in Benguet province, where a hundred of blo um, cherry blossom trees were planted, but only a handful survived. There was also a plan for a cherry blossom festival to attract local tourists to spend their money here rather than go to Japan or Korea. But in my mind, why do we have to create a festival for an exotic flower, where in fact, we don't have our own flower festival in the first place? Sure, we have the Panangat Benga, which is one of my favorite festivals, but it only displays cut flowers, and most of which are exotic. What I am referring to is a flower festival where we can appreciate the flowers where they're still attached to the plant or the tree alive and breathing. A flower festival where we can see our own native flora. The Facebook post fueled my interest to research about our native flora species and an awakening of sort. The flowers that I was familiar with, like Santan, Bonganvillia, Kalachuchi, Kamia, Dahlia, are actually exotic or introduced flowers. Perhaps we remember that class sections in grade school and high school were named after these flowers. We would not even think that they are not native to our country. After I graduated from the university, I got married, focused on my family, and never even worked. I started late in my career, and I was already 42 years old when I decided to join the art scene. Even without a formal training in the arts and basically a newbie in the art community, and even if I was still struggling 
how to start a painting and how to finish it. I held my first solo show, Bulak. Bulak is a Hiligaynon word for flower. Unaware yet about the meanings of endemic, indigenous, exotic, and native, I included some flowers which are exotic, like the gumamela and the sampaguita in the exhibit. But before I move on to my speech, let us define endemic, indigenous, exotic, and native first. Endemic means the species is only found in the Philippines and nowhere else across the globe. Indigenous means that the species is found in the Philippines, but can also be found in other countries. Indigenous species are species naturally growing in our country and not introduced by humans. If it is brought to our country by means of humans, therefore it is called exotic or introduced species. Examples of which are birds of paradise, catleyas, sunflowers, dandelions, among the many flora species introduced by humans to our country. It is hard to imagine that our very own national flower is not even from our country, but originated from the Himalayas. It was first cultivated here in the Philippines in the 17th century when it was brought here by the travelers. It was in 1934 that it was proclaimed as the national flower by an American governor through the proclamation number 652. Perhaps the Americans thought that it is native in our country because Sampaguita was deeply rooted in our culture. We have so many beautiful endemic flowers like the Waling Waling, which deserves to be hailed as our national flower. In fact, in 2004, there was a motion in the House of Representatives to make Waling Waling as the national flower. But in August 2013, a bill was passed by the Senate to make it as our national flower alongside Sampaguita. Unfortunately, President Noynoy Aquino vet vetoed House Bill 565, saying that there are other ways to promote the protection and preservation of the Waling Waling without declaring it as a second national flower. In 2019, Waling Waling was declared as a national orchid. As I further researched for endemic species and while preparing for my second solo show in May 2018, I came across an article about the Flora de Filipinas by historian Ambeth Ocampo. Flora de Filipinas is the first comprehensive and fully illustrated study of the Philippine flora published two centuries ago by Father Francisco Manuel Blanco, a Spanish friar and a botanist. This book is very important in Philippine history because it contains plates drawn by 17 Filipino artists commissioned by Father Blanco, which include Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, Felix Martinez, Felix Pardo de Tavera, Miguel Sedagosa, and Lorenzo Guerrero. Surprisingly, Ambeth Ocampo mentioned in his article that the 17 Filipino artists were never even mentioned nor acknowledged in the book. Researching further on Philippine botanical led me to the website of Botanical Art Worldwide. That year, there was a World Botanical Expo with 25 participating countries. I was very excited to learn or to know if the Philippines is part of it, but sadly, it wasn't. When I found out that there is no botanical art society in the Philippines, I decided to put up one. Fortunately, even after three decades passed since I graduated from the university, the education, training, and values strongly instilled in me the love and respect to protect, uphold, and conserve our cultural and natural her heritage. Establishing the Philippine Botanical Art Society gave me the opportunity to contribute to our national identity through our native flora. The creation of the Philippine Botanical Art Society was a very exciting journey, which started with a visit to the Botany Division of the National Museum of Natural History in May 2018, where I met three of our country's foremost botanists, namely Dr. Edwin Tadiosa, Dr. Danny Tendang, and Mr. John Ray Caliado. 
they were very receptive when I first brought up my intention of organizing a botanical art society in the Philippines. A botanical art society that will support our cause and our advocacy in creating awareness about our Philippine native flora. They showed encouragement and support, noting that our country, being a mega diverse country, should have its own botanical art society. On September 4, 2019, exactly a year and four months after I first visited the Botany and National Herbarium Division of the National Museum of Natural History, Philippine Botanical Art Society was born. Philippine, art, uh, Philippine Botanical Art Society hopes that through botanical art, it would educate our fellow Filipinos about our native flora and its conservation status, as most species are now considered endangered. Moreover, the society intends to revive the botanical art style and encourage Filipino artists to paint our native flora in this art form. Presently, the Philippine Botanical Art Society engages more than 100 Filipino artists in its advocacy to spread awareness about Philippine endemic and indigenous flora species through art. Since its establishment, In 2019, the Philippine Botanical Art Society has held four botanical art exhibitions and exhibited more than 100 artworks. The Department of Foreign Affairs Flores de Mayo is a befitting platform to showcase our native flora. The Santa Cruz and pageant held on the last day of May with its elaborate processions and flower adorned decorations uh, such as flower, with flowers such as roses and camia typically dominate the event's decorations. With this Philippine flora exhibit, the Philippine Botanical Art Society hopes to bring attention to our native flora. More ambitiously, with every Flores de Mayo exhibit we hold each year, the society aspires for more Filipinos to associate Flores de Mayo with abundance of Philippine native flora. The Philippine Botanical Art Society hopes <clears throat> For a while. <laughs> the Philippine Botanical Art Society through visual arts is one with our country and other sectoral agencies in raising awareness about the critical conservation status of our Philippine flora. Utilizing visual art as a platform to raise conservation awareness is effective. It inspires people to be engaged in environmental problems and allows them to think of potential solutions to these issues. Depicting the Philippine native flora through visual arts give us unlimited access to its beauty and importance. Photographs, drawings, and paintings help to constantly remind us not only of its beauty, but more notably of its importance to our forest ecosystem and natural heritage. Isn't it amazing how a small country such as ours is one of the 17 mega diverse countries in the whole world to be counted as a mega diverse country, 50% of the country's species should be endemic. We have more than 10,000 native flora species and more are yet to be discovered. Out of this, 50% is endemic. Sadly though, more and more species are threatened because of habitat loss due to natural causes and human activity like poaching, illegal logging, converting forests to commercial areas. But hope is not lost. Let us do our part to help conserve and protect our wildlife. On behalf of the Philippine Botanical Art Society and my fellow participating artists, to my daughter Willa for helping me with hosting this event and creating the publication materials, to Ms. Paula Ibarra of the Office of Strategic Communications who helped facilitate in this event, to Director Ravel and Raymart for helping us with the art tech, tech um, assistance, and especially to Isai Rodriguez, who created our website for this online platform. And thank you very much for your attention and for this opportunity to share with you my advocacy of Philippine endemic and indigenous flora through art. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at mahalin natin ang ating kalikasan. Para po sa ating kalikasan.
Thank you, Ms. Famoso, for the inspiring message and providing us with a better perspective on the discipline of botanical art. And now for the moment we have all been waiting for, the official launch of the Philippine Flora Exhibition website. Ms. Isa Rodriguez, artist and member of the Philippine Botanical Art Society, has skillfully created the website. The society is indeed grateful for her effort for making this happen. Ms. Rodriguez obtained a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from the University of the Philippines. She was a Jose Moreno Foundation Scholar and received a bursary to attend the Ecole Nationale Supérieure de Beaux-Arts Paris before graduating with the Outstanding Thesis Award in 2013. Her works were shortlisted for the Fernando Zobel Visual Arts Prize in 2018 and at awarded Patnubay ng Sining at Kalingan for Visual Arts in 2017. She was the first grantee of the Portfolio Art Prize 10 Artists Supporting Artists in 2020, and the sixth Filipino artist resident of Gasworks London Artist Residency for 2021. Her recent projects and residencies include Doon VR Project, Art N23 Incubator Space in 2020, B Plus Bamboo Curtain Studio in Taipei in 2019, Vanishing in the Process, Exploration of Dream States and Symbolism, between Lear Space in Yogyakarta and 98B Manila, Bella's Artes Projects in Bataan, both in 2017 and 2018, and a collaborative project for Viva Arte Viva, 57th Venice Biennale in 2017. Isai will now be taking us through the navigation of this website. Okay, good afternoon everyone and thank you for that very nice introduction. So first of all, I would also like to thank Ma'am Bing, the founder of PhilBus, for trusting and allowing me to be part of this project. So today I'm going to walk you through our website. So this is the current platform we're using to present 100 plus and more artworks from the very prolific artists of Philippine Botanical Art Society. Ayan. So when you scroll down until the uh, bottom bottommost part of the page you will see all of the the complete collection of artwork submission submitted for this year's exhibition so um on the right side of the page of the home page you're gonna see some text so these are information about the exhibition and you can also view a summary of the participants uh, once you click that text you can see the video where uh, all of the names of the participants and their works are. So um, some of the ta tabs on top of the website, you can see about, contact, frequently asked questions, and 360 gallery. So dun po sa about, uh, you're gonna see additional information about the exhibition and some short information about the DFA event. And of course, some information about Philippine Botanical Art Society. So this also links you to our Instagram page. And I hope that you will be following us and the exhibition in the coming days because um, we also have this feature, the 360 gallery. So we're going to have a walkthrough in our virtual gallery. So right now we are setting up uh, the artworks and you can see 10 of the first submissions made this year. So please follow us on Instagram and please view the website throughout the exhibition so that you can see, capture and share your favorite artworks through uh, hashtag PHFlora2021 and by following us on Instagram. So uh, that's all for today and thank you for um, joining us in our virtual exhibit opening today and thank you. Thank you, Isai, for taking us through the website. We are really proud that we have such talented and dedicated members in our organization. This brings us to the closing of the exhibit lunch. 
But before that, we'd like to first introdu introduce the Philippine Flora Participating Artists. And this will be done by Ms. Bing Famoso. Okay, thank you once again, Color. Um, the Philippine Botanical Art Society encourages and inspires everyone to use art, art as an expression of love for our biodiversity. I am happy to note or to tell you that our participating artists are from different sectors of our society. We have doctors, students, housewives, and even Ma'am Vike Jose, the lovely wife of His Ex Excellency Ambassador Charles Jose of the Philippine Embassy in Malaysia is joining us as an exhibiting artist. Also, we have um, Dida Soraya, my fellow Kasibulan sister, who is also the charge to fair posted in Damascus, Syria. And she also shared her botanical artwork with us. So everything that our hands create, no? everything that our hands create, especially for nature, is beautiful. So we encourage everyone to join our um, society because we are open to everyone, to students, to those who are happiest, not only to artists, but those who love our country's flora and fauna. So without further ado, I would like to um, recognize the presence of the 95 artists who are joining us in this online art exhibition. Without your support, and without your love for nature, we will not be here today. So thank you so much for you, for your artworks. Even for the very short notice, we were able to come up with 148 artworks. So now I start with Miss, I would like to thank Miss Abby Garino, Eileen Famelara, Isa Domingo, Avic Samora, Becky Chum Santos, who's a doctor, Brenda Dacpano, Brenda Tank, Cecilia Manuel, who's also a doctor, Cherry May Pestano, Cherry D.V. Agoyaoy, Grisela May Bulanadi, Daki Fernandez, she's also a doctor, Ellen Bondoc Esqueta, Elaine Clemente, Ellie Rose Joy Santiago, Elisa Joy Bulanadi, Erica Marie Bascos, Eunice Pamela de la Cruz, Jed Alangi, Gigi Manalastas, Jeannie Aala, Grace Camacho, Grace Marquez Espiritu, Grace Nakano, Ian Cartalaba, Isai Rodriguez, our creative website master, Jasper Jake Santos, J. Vincent Gatdula, Jason Bonina, Jean Reynald Bello, Jennifer Patricio, Jackie D. Curambao, Joe Jacob, Joe Uy Gonko, our co-founder, Mr. Jan Ray Caliado, is also with us in this exhibit, Jomar Dulugan, Sir Jose Valerio, Joseph Inking, Joy Blanco, Julia Lopwe, June, this is my uh, teacher for conservation, Ma'am June Potecar Dalisay, is also a faculty in the College of Fine Arts in UP Diliman. Joina Yu, Karen Rojas, Carla Sahona. Carla Sahona's artwork is the artwork that you can see on the poster, uh, the yellow flower on the left uh, bottom most of the poster. Thank you, Carla, for lending your artwork with us. Kathleen Baraan, Kay Agustin, Lady Pizarro, Larry Janko, who is an artist also of the National Museum, Leticia Rilera, Luisa Bayot, May Di Dios, Maya Enriquez, Malu Di Peralta, Maria Erica Antolin, Maria Pentaukit, Marjorie de Los Angeles, who's, who's a botanist and a teacher in UP Los Banos, Marvin Arenza, Mary Irma Lara, Melanie Reyes Duquet, Ninda Vintanel Villa, Mio Diaz, Nao Cheka, Nice Rodriguez, Patrick Gosson, who is also an associate professor in the College of Engineering in UP Diliman, Paula Fernandez, Paula Pacheco, Paulina Denise Navarro, Pauline Luis, Pearl Trevino, Professor Phoebe Beltran Almasan, who inspired me to become an artist. Thank you, Prof. Sara Carillo, Remar Herrera, Rodora Medina, 
Rochelle Soriano, Rodel Medel, Romina Arda Yanghirang, Ronald Lopez, Reinhard Vergara, Shala Kasumbing, Shala Joy Mani Aul, Charlie Gisana Rosa, Suklin Chang, Susan Mendoza, Vanessa Joyce Tria, Vanessa Tria, Ma'am VK Jose, the lovely wife of um, His Excellency Ambassador Jose, um, Charles Jose uh, from the Philippine Embassy in Malaysia. Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your artwork with us. Biel Samaniego, Yana Orais, Yasmin Pisostomo, Ilang Montenegro, Joske de la Cruz, and Vida Soraya. Thank you so much for your help and for putting up this wonderful art exhibition. Thank you so much. Now this brings us to the closing of the exhibit launch. Mr. John Ray Caliado, co-founder of the Philippine Botanical Art Society and Philippine Fauna Art Society, will be providing the remarks. Mr. Caliado is a botanist and museum researcher from Botany and National Herbarium Division of National Museum of the Philippines. He earned his Bachelor of Science in Forestry, magna cum laude, at College of Agriculture and Forestry West Visayas State University. He has delivered various lectures and workshops about plant taxonomy, herbarium techniques, conservation, and botanical art. He has published various papers of new species plants from, Philipp from the Philippines and a field guidebook about ferns of Chiang Mai, Thailand. His research interests are pteridophytes, ferns and lycophytes, various flowering plants, and gymnosperms. He's active in sports like badminton, dragon boating, and trail running. And in fact, he enjoys joining 50 to 100K trail running in the Cordilleras to document Philippine flora while running. He also enjoys drawing flora and fauna on his free time. And as mentioned, one of his paintings is featured in this exhibit. Uh, Mr. John Ray Caliado, please take it away. Thank you, Willa. So good afternoon to each and everyone. So first of all, we would like to give our sincere thanks to Undersecretary Ernesto Abella for supporting the advocacy of the Philippine Botanical Art Society or the PILBAS. To their excellency, the ambassadors of the Philippine embassies, to our Philippine, to our Philippine consulates across the globe, to executive director I.B. Banson Abalos, Acting Director Christina Corpus Popov, to the staff and employees of the Department of Foreign Affairs for giving us an opportunity to exhibit these wonderful botanical paintings even in the midst of pandemic. I would also would like to thanks to all the particip participating artists who contribute their paintings of our Philippine flora, especially our native and endemic species to this Philippine Flora, an online botanical art exhibition. So as mentioned by Ms. Bing, the Philippines is one of the 17 mega diverse countries. So in comparison with large countries like China and USA, they are 28 times bigger than our country. But in terms of uh, diversity per unit area basis, if we, uh, compute for the total number of plants and animals with regards to their uh, land area, the Philippines is among the diverse in density of unique flora and fauna. But sad to say, the Philippines is also part of a biodiversity hotspot. So when we say a biodiversity hotspot, these are places with extreme or high unique flora and fauna, but are facing high risk of extinction. So in our country, the major cost of extinction of our native flora and fauna is deforestation. So from mining, kaingin, or the slush and burn farming, so are, they are the major cause of the destruction of their habitat. So through this botanical art, so we have a platform to advocate or share our own native and unique endemic flora and fauna, especially the flora, so we have 
around 10,000 species of plants. Half of it are found only in our country. So why not use those endemic plants that are uniquely found only in the Philippines uh, as our subject for botanical art? So it is a way that we are enjoying doing our botanical art. At the same time, we are giving advocacy for conservation of this uh, rare and unique flora and fauna. And to consider all our flora or the endemic plants, they are all part of our natural heritage. So it is our own duty to uh, make proud that they are part of our natural heritage and we need to protect them. So through these botanical uh, paintings, we can share to our society that these plants need to be protected. So create more artwork which showcase our own diverse flora. And hopefully after this event, uh, you could find more of our endemic flora to be as your subject for your future paintings. And thank you to each and everyone. Thank you, Mr. John Riccaliado for closing this event and providing us with great insights on the incredible diversity of the Philippines. And of course, for your continued support and tutelage on the field of botany within the Philippine Botanical Art Society. Uh, before I move on, um, Ms. Ping Famoso would like to uh, share just a few final words. Yes, um, we would like also the Philippine Botanical Art Society is really sincerely thanking the science community because without them, especially to the botanists, researchers, scientists who really uh, put up so much effort and uh, did so much hard work in discovering new species for us to paint. You know, it's very hard that they're there. And then for us to access this, they put it in, a, in an online um, platform, which is the Cause Digital Flora. It is the repository of all the species that can be found here in the Philippines. And we are very, very thankful to everyone, to the science community, researchers, and, and who put up these things. So um, I'll special.
On behalf of the Philippine Botanical Art Society, uh, we'd first like to thank uh, Undersecretary Ernesto Abella, Executive Director Ivy Banton Apolos, Acting Director Christina Popov, Director Rovel Tixon, Ms. Palda Ebora, and Mr. John uh, Raymark Espeleta. The DOFA officials and staff that assisted us in this event and without whom this won't be possible. And of course, we'd like to thank Ms. Isai Rodriguez for creating the wonderful website and Mr. John Ray Caliado for the closing remarks and for providing uh, guidance and assistance throughout the screening process of the artworks. Thank you for joining us in the virtual opening ceremony of Philippine Flora, an online botanical art exhibition of the Philippine Botanical Art Society in partnership with the Department of Foreign Affairs. Uh, please do check out the website and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Just look up uh, Philippine Flora Art Society, uh, Philippine Botanical Art Society, and of course, our sister organization, Philippine Bo uh, Fauna Art Society. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Para sa kalikasan. <laughs>